Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. Tip off goes to the Lakers. James looking it over. And the a dunk by James. Oh, a guy as big as LeBron can handle the ball that well is a mystery. Hard to believe, Greg, last season, LeBron missing the playoffs for just the third time in his career. And Kevin, it, it almost felt surreal to not have him in the playoffs. I mean, this guy's been a fixture in the postseason for almost two decades now. Just another bullet on LeBron's incredible resume. Here's Harden, and it's Russell with the rebound. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. To the paint. Here's Vanderbilt. Pass to Reeves. Just five to shoot. And Davis can't get it to go. Now the 76ers with it. Four-point game. Here's Embiid. And the dunk by Embiid. And that interior presence of MB, guys that big shouldn't be able to move like that. James outside. Pass to Reeves. Here's Vanderbilt. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. It's empowering to play with LeBron because if you get open, he will find you. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, James Harden still a tremendous player, but now in his early 30s, some question, can he be the dominant MVP force we saw in Houston? And Greg Harden in recent years dealing with hamstring injuries. Has he lost a step to age or injury? You know, probably a little of both, but... We've seen players with a new diet or training regimen get back to peak production. Hopefully, he can as well. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrin. Kevin, Doc Rivers gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. He's confident in their ability to win the battle of the low post. That's where he'd like to see most of the action take place. Kevin, I think we can expect them to pound the ball down low every chance they get. Let their big men go to work. Thanks, David. Assist from and the dunk by LeBron. Can't do anything about it. LeBron gets a step. Next thing you know, he's hanging off the rim. Hiding with it. Six on the shot clock. The 76ers need to get off a shot. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Los Angeles leading by four. Now Russell. Pass to Vanderbilt. Back to Russell. And the slam dunk by Russell. I love the spatial awareness from Russell. Saw how much room he had and just took it aggressively. Kept alive. Second chance shot. Harden. And the layup falls. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. Now here's James. Outside for Davis. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And that's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. You're not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Los Angeles on D. Out to Harris. Launches a three. It's stolen by Schroeder. And it's Brown missing. 
and that's one way to end up in the highlights. You know what we call this play? A dumb play all the way around, especially at this particular time. A nice shot by Embiid. And the man just brings his lunch pail and goes to work. Well, what sets Embiid apart is he does it with such ease. Now here's Davis. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Los Angeles with another miss. It's stolen by Brown. Schroeder, right side. Pass to Brown. Out left to the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Shot from 12. And the rejection by Harden. Elton trying to break free. And it's all evened up. Harden's got six. And inside Harden is such a difficult cover. Get too close, and you know he'll cleverly draw a foul. And there's the foul. It will go on P.J. Tucker. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Coming up in the fourth year, six year. Pass to Vanderbilt. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Here's Harden. And he drives in. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Expectations for the Lakers are always high. And this led to some disappointment in the past few seasons. Yeah, a lot of disappointment. The Lakers build a roster, Steve, of some of the most proven veteran players in the league, too. And when healthy, that pays big dividends. But if those vets lose time to injury, it can be tough to have success. We've seen that happen in L.A., Kevin. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the trip. And there's a whistle that's going to go on James Harden. That's his first foul. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. And the 76ers making a change here. On the wing, James. Back to Russell. The shot, no good. Harden with the defensive effort. The 76ers trail by three. Harrell up top. And the rejection by James. Great positioning by LeBron and timing on that block shot. Finished off the break. James has got six. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up to four. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Back to Harrell. Pass to Tucker. Six to shoot. In the corner, it's Harris. Let's it go with a three. And Bamba pulls it down. Russell with it. And it's Harden picking him up. And they double up James. And that one's good. Russell. Russell. Good form on the jump shot. Russell's ability to stretch the floor makes him even more valuable. From deep Harden. Rebounded by the Lakers. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. They'll double in with Harrell. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. James outside. Pass to Bamba. The Lakers moving the ball around. Four on the clock. Here's Vanderbilt. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Los Angeles leading by eight. Pass to Bamba. Los Angeles with another miss. Oh, 
153 left here in the first quarter. Now Harold. Can they get it? And Bamba pulls it down. Here's Russell. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. And the jam by Harden. Taking it all the way. Harden with the flush there. We've got 113 left from the first quarter of the game. Pass to Vanderbilt. Stolen by Tucker. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. James Harden. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. Substitution on the court. Here's LeBron. He has six. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Well, we know we're in the later stages of his career, but Steve, it's just simply incredible, mind-boggling really, how athletic LeBron James remains. Kevin, to put it frankly, we've never seen anything like this. He's still getting up with ease for some vicious throwdowns. A testament to how hard he works. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Now here's Davis. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Inside. All alone. And good. You got the English that time as it falls. LeBron James. And the Lakers lead by eight. Pass to Embiid. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Six points for Joel Embiid. Oof, what a scary sight. Joel Embiid with all that momentum taking it to the hoop. Looking like a freight train. And so it's Los Angeles with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Shooting the ball so well in this one. The Lakers, 26. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Los Angeles. The way they've been going after steals in this game, it has been super impressive. They are wreaking havoc right now. Pass to Tucker. Here's Milton. MB wide open. And again, it's Philadelphia. And this coaching staff loves to see that kind of aggression from MB. No hesitation on the jump shot. That's the mentality they want out of a big man. Shot by McDaniels. No good. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They've led by as much as 10. Shot clock at five. Here's Schroeder. It's deflected. And so it looks like the Lakers will retain possession here. Embiid with the steal. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. that time from Davis. Los Angeles leading by four. Here's Schroeder. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Not one to back down inside. Schroeder likes to get right into the teeth of the defense. Pass to Embiid. And he gets it back. And the dunk by Embiid. 
There's no bigger play in a close game than a putback slam. Oh, and that one's got them all hyped up. Wow. They're bringing the energy, the hustle, the fight, and they also didn't give up on that possession. Outside, Maxi. Now, here's Tucker. Pass to Embiid. Shot clock at six. Outside, Maxi. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Now, just a two point Laker lead. Here's Reeves. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Embiid. Can't tie it up as that one misses. And certain teams take on the attitude of their city. And over the years, Philadelphia has been one of them. The Sixers known for having tough teams, much like the town. And the 76ers with possession. Only giving up two points this quarter. And beat the screen. Here's Maxi to the inside. It's stolen by Davis. Pass to Brown. Out to the right wing. Schroeder outside. Five to shoot. That shot misses. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. And Greg, you mentioned the 76ers have taken on the identity of Philadelphia. In your estimation, how? You know, you go all the way back to the 80s. This has been a team that plays hard, focuses on defense, gritty, much like their city. So they tend to play with a chip on their shoulder. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA, but on the Sixers, he understands his role is different. He says, I'm not a guy who's going to press for looks. The ball is going to flow how it flows, and I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. That's what winning basketball is all about. Kevin? David, thank you. Here's Niang. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. Pass to Reed. In the corner, Bamba with it. Here's Niang. He's guarded by Schroeder. Out to the right wing. Bamba wide open and he fires. Trills the three-pointer. Three points. And the Lakers lead by five. And crucial that Bamba keeps evolving his perimeter game. Big men like him have to be able to shoot. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A scene of confusion right there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Oh my, see you can't do that without great athleticism. And that's one thing AD brings to the party. Here's Embiid, and the dunk by Embiid. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Here's Pamba. Good work there as it goes. Pamba's got five points now this quarter. Loving the toughness there from Bamba. Just needs to keep proving that he's not to be messed with. Pass to Davis. To the middle. Stolen by McDaniels. And beat inside. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. Again, it's Joel Embiid. When he is on, there isn't one player in this league that can stop him. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. 
and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Teams nowadays tracking deflections in addition to steals. Were they something you were aware of when you played defense, Greg? Yeah, even if they weren't tracked, uh, they were valued. And, and I remember early in my career, that was something that the Knicks that would always emphasize because deflections were a true indicator of activity, especially defensively. Up top, Bamba. In the corner, it's James. From deep three-point range. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Uncontested look. Can't fault the shot selection. He's money from there. There's Harold. No good. That would have tied it. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. They've led by as much as 10. Count it. Good. Bamba's got seven points in the game. And the closer to the basket Bamba is, the more effective he is. Outstanding at using his size inside. Oh, oh. did you see that? And this is how a floor leader makes a statement. Harden just put the other team on notice. Here's James. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And Greg, the Philadelphia 76ers have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top-tier talent on this roster. After the trust the process here, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. And slam dunk by Maxi. Those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> Well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. This is a close-knit group. They feed off one another's energy. And the dunk by Bamba. Yeah, that's seven-foot-nine wingspan on full display there. Bamba swooping in with the Thor. Here's Harden. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It goes on Muhammad Bamba. Philadelphia shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. Pass to Bamba. He's looking for LeBron and finds him. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. The defense has no answer for LeBron, allowing him to really run things on offense. Melton, no, no good. Lakers leading by four. Here's LeBron. And the dunk by James. Dunking is second nature to LeBron. All he needs is ideal positioning, and he's golden. Harris outside. to Melton. To the right side. Here's Harrell. He takes it in. And Bamba pulls it down. Greg, their offensive approach has been rock solid here. And they're finding the weak spots in the D and attacking it. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go, baby. It is showtime. LeBron outside. Pass to Reeves. James right side. Here's Reeves. Down low. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. The 76ers trail by six. There's 42 seconds left to play in the first half. In the corner, it's Harris. It's Harden with the drive. The rebound by the Lakers. Pass to Russell. Sweet little floater. 12 points for D'Angelo Russell. 
and floating it in there, the smoothness, something you've got to love about Russell's game. Here's Harden. Here's Harrell. And Harris wide open. He shoots. And the 76ers get it back to the paint. Tucker. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. P.J. is a tough-nosed player. Someone that Walken's getting fouled while shooting. All three throws, good from Tucker. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. And, and coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. It's stolen by Harris. And so it's Los Angeles with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. And here's Harden. Here's Harrell. Off target from three-point range. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Harden, no good. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Pass to LeBron. Here's Walker. Back to LeBron. Slammed home, and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. It's going to be on Montrez Hero. The defender gets caught in a bad position. LeBron powerful enough to convert through contact. Let's see what he does at the line. Milton with the ball. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And it's Harden shooting it down. An elite scorer who takes pride in torching defenses. Hart is outstanding at getting to his spots and capitalizing. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. They trail by seven. Now that's what I call a momentum changer. Now when you've got a point guard, that kind of spring, no lead is safe. You're totally right. That can be a shot in the arm for them. A spark that turns things around. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. And the giant wingspan of Bamba strikes again. Just fantastic at spiking shots in a variety of ways. The 76ers trail by seven. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And this Lakers squad has a ton of talent. But some guys are well past their prime. 76ers have gone nine of ten from the line, so making the most of their chances. And what do you think GA is the next step for this Lakers team? Coming off a championship not that long ago, young firepower is surely needed. These older guys can't carry a team like they used to. So the wing on the left. Al Melton. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. There's Harrell. And Harrell sends it in. A big man with great lift. Montrez Harrell loves playing above the rim. In the corner, it's James. On the wing, James. Back to Bamba. And the dunk by Bamba. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. 
to the middle. Out to Harris. Takes the three. Hits it from three-point range. Harris has got his first three points of the game. Well-conceived play. The pass is right on time. Tobias catches in rhythm. Difficult set to defend. Here's LeBron. It's good again in the next one. Seven for eight shooting night so far. That's just awesome position right there. Great basket to help add to the lead. Now, here is Harden. Nice D from Russell. And James picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. So both teams changing it up here. And the Lakers call time here. Timeout call to the Lakers. Fans, your sister dance team. Put your hands together. We have Philadelphia 76ers TNT. The 76ers trailed by four. Here's Milton. And Davis sends it back. All of AD's seven six wingspan coming into play allowed him to block it away. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks very much. The Lakers are, of course, one of the league's storied franchises. Magic Johnson was asked recently if they have the best all-time collection of players. He says it's not even close. Outside of Bill, we have all the dominant closers. Kobe, Jerry, LeBron now, Worthy. Come on now, it's just too many Lakers. Kevin, back to you. <laughs> He's got a point, David, and we thank you for your report. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tremendous, Kevin. Carrying the Sixers with everything they went through, even though he came in second in MVP voting two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. Great pass. We talk about 80s guard-like skills. That includes his floor vision. For three, Harris trains the three-pointer. Harris has got the lead up to one now for the 76ers. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. Here's Schroeder. And Davis throws it down. The defense can't match AD's physicality. He muscles his way to the second chance shot. Driving in. Here's Embiid. Add that basket to his impressive total. Brings him to 10 for 14. Man, he's been on point. Not forcing things. Getting the most of his looks within the flow. Right side Davis. To the inside. Here's Hachimura. Can't connect from short range. Harris draws the double. Got a piece of it. And taken away by Brown. Outside, Davis. Three-pointer. Brown feeling out a bit. Over to the left wing. Just five on the clock. Outside for Davis. Good D by Embiid. And here's Embiid. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. They lead by one. Aston Yang. Back to Maxi. On the wing, Harris. Outside Maxi. The Yang. Misses the three. And here is Davis. He has six. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. 
And with the struggles AD has had to stay healthy, and you wonder, though, if the team's going to focus on having him be at his best for that postseason run and try to manage the wear and tear. Well, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that. Absolutely. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their four leader. But not every point guard can give you that. The ability to finish with that level of authority. And when Davis is on the floor, Greg, he is a force. But how do you keep him healthy into the playoffs? That is the question. I mean, sustaining his output over a full season isn't easy, but Davis has had a bit of bad luck with the injury, so you have to mitigate ways to keep him available. Here's Milton. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Schroeder with the ball. Maxi covering. Brown outside. Inside. Harris, right side. Oh, and the jam by Embiid. And it's no secret that Embiid enjoys the spotlight. When he gets a chance to show off some, he seizes it. Schroeder with the ball. Davis gets a wide open look. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. This uh, game has a lot of character here in the third period. Six changes of the lead here. Intensity is the theme for this one. Pass to Embiid. And the dunk by Embiid. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. It's stolen by Milton. Stolen by Bamba. And now the fast break. Schroeder with the ball. Outside, Davis. One oh three left to play in the third. Here's Bamba. Plays it up off the glass. Bamba's got six in the quarter. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Lakers. Their defense, it's their defense. It has been downright incredible so far. Being disruptive and coming up with steals left and right. Niang, no good. The Lakers in the lead. And they double up Davis. Brown outside. Pass to Bamba. Four on the shot clock. Takes the 13-footer, tries again, and it's Davis laying it in. And now a three-point Laker lead. The added strength helping Davis on these physical finishes. Great work from the big man. On deep. Walker with the rebound. Up and in on the layup. Davis has got nine points here in the second half. And we've watched three so far in this one. Lakers lead by five. Five. The Lakers, 74. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Now LeBron. Walker in the corner. Beyond the arc. Good, and the assist goes to James. And you know, he's going to continue to bury those if that's how they're going to deal. MB. No good there. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. LeBron with it. Maxi covering. Now here is Hachimura. And James gets it to go. Assisted by LeBron's got the lead up to 10 now for the Lakers. And don't look now, but they're starting to extend this lead. They're doing it by building it out, step by step, valuing each possession. 
Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Here's James, and James throws it down. As soon as you give him any room whatsoever, he is always looking to attack and make you pay. Down low, and Embiid throws it down. You know he's pulling his weight, but they still find themselves behind. Pass to Walker, from deep, out of bounds, Philadelphia takes possession. Misread each other on the pass. Tried to recover, but too late. The 76ers making a switch here. The 76ers trail by seven. Here's Milton. And here's MB. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Lakers leading by seven. To the inside, Russell. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. An active competitor, Russell won't go down without a fight, especially around the rim. Here's Melton. Two points, that one goes. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Lakers working the ball around now. Outside Russell. Back to LeBron. Trying to get open is Davis. LeBron. Nice shot by James. James has got 11 points here in just the second half. And here's Harden for three. Hachimura grabs the miss. Aggressive closeout on a great jump shooter. That's how you defend against the three. Harris with it. He's picked up by James. Pass to Tucker. Latrey. Offensive rebound. A second chance effort. And Harrell with the lay-in. Good. A terrific offensive rebounder. Harrell's energy is what helps him collect second chance opportunities. That's his first one falls for him. And some added toughness on the roster. Something Philly knew they needed after last year's playoffs. The hope is adding scrappy veterans like P.J. Tucker and DeAnthony Melton will help them further this go-round. Looking for Harris. He gets it there. Here's Tucker. Another miss by Philadelphia. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Oh, and the jam by LeBron. Oh, okay. I guess LeBron wanted that one to sting a little. He put a little extra on that one. To the middle. Here's Harden. No good on that one. Great tee that time from Davis. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up to the Lakers. They've led by as much as 10. Over Harris. And Davis can't get it to go. The 76ers trail by seven. Driving the lane. Here's Tucker. Cans it from downtown. P.J. Tucker is a lights out three ball specialist. The D must respect his range. And yet that's going to be a flagrant foul. Unnecessary content. And Kevin, I gotta tell you, he's probably fortunate to just get a flagrant one there. I mean, so much contact. The officials easily could have gone even harder on him. Greg, I agree. He better be on his best behavior from now on. One more flagrant of any variety, and he's out of here. And he's given them a good contribution at the line tonight. Getting there a lot and delivering on his opportunities. LeBron outside. Pass to Russell. From 12 feet out. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Here's Tucker. To the paint. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Los Angeles. Now into the line of your 76ers. 
Lakers leading by six. LeBron outside. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Pass to Harden. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on D'Angelo Russell. And what's incredible about Harden, he can dominate a game with the pass as much as the shot. So defensively, you have to prepare for both. Lock at six. On the wing, Harden. They shoot again. Rejected by LeBron. Lakers ball. And here is Los Angeles now. It's a five point game. Out to Russell. This one for three. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Russell's got five points now in the quarter. Cognizant of the entire court. Russell aware of where the defenders are and really does a great job creating opportunities. And foul call. Looks like they had a clear path to the basket. He'll be shooting two free throws. And they'll retain possession. And the first one at the line is good. Allen for Anthony Davis, a big contributor to this team when healthy. Kevin A.D. does everything on the court that you ask of him. He can defend in space and guard just about anybody. Along with being a force on the offensive side, he's a terrific talent. And the Lakers call time here. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard the Lakers coach talk to his team. He loves the aggressiveness on D. He said, we're doing a great job of challenging everything they're trying to do. Stay active, talk to each other, don't let up. Kevin? Thank you, David. And here's Tucker. Back to Harden. Pass to Embiid. Again, the miss by Harden. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. Harden way outside. No good on the shot. The Lakers go the other way with it. Russell left side. Pass to Reed. Trying to find Vanderbilt, gets it to him. Outside, Russell shoots the three, and Embiid pulls it down. Harden with it. From outside the arc, and Joel Embiid hits from deep. Embiid got 15 points in just the second half. outside. Another three for Philadelphia. I mean, there's just no limit to Harden's range, even from way downtown. This guy is a threat to score. Knocks down the three ball. Three points. Matching baskets from the perimeter, an earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. And you know, if you score on Harden, this guy's going to take it personal. Answers right back. And they double up Davis. Back to Russell. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Russell's got 10 points in the quarter. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Lakers leading by 10. On the wing, Davis. Over to the wing. Here's Reeves. Wide open. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. 
terrible shot selection, but you've got to appreciate his confidence. Inside. 